What does the gateway arch and this chair have to do with each other? Well, they were both designed by the same person, Aero Saarinen. Aero was a Finnish-American architect and industrial designer noted for his neo-futuristic style. I wanted to use his designs to show off something I saw in the Fusion 360 subreddit, where I drew inspiration for this quick tip. The folks on there had a question about how to show and use dimensions outside of the sketch environment, which is actually a powerful and somewhat hidden feature. So let's see how. Everyone by now should know how to hide or show just about anything in the browser. Use those trusty light bulbs. But even when I do in this case, the dimensions don't show. That's the default setting. So to get those dimensions to show, go right back to the browser, right click on the sketch of interest, and there you'll find an option to show the dimensions. Now you can make real-time dynamic updates to your parametric designs. Or even just use the visibility to verify others. In the corner of this, you'll notice I can select the region between the arm and the cushion. Why? Well, that region is fully bound by sketch entities. So you'll find a profile here. I bring this up because sometimes you don't want to show those. So from the same menu as before, you can change the default from showing profiles to hiding them. At this point, I want to mirror the arm to the opposite side, but my default planes aren't located in the way that I can use them. Instead, I'll make a mid-plane, where I'll use both sides of the seat as a reference. This helps ensure the other arm will be a perfect mirror image of the first and located properly. Back to the gateway arch, let's use some of those skills we just learned to get an idea of the scale of this butte. Let's zoom to fit by double-clicking the wheel, show the sketch, and further to that, show the dimensions. You can see this thing towers up to 630 feet, twice the size of the Statue of Liberty. Make sure to check it out if you're in St. Louis, and get some barbecue from Pappy's while you're at it.